Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been awesome, uh, the response that I've gotten from this brand new YouTube channel. Uh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time and, you know, joining me in these uh, crazy detailing endeavors. Um, and I just want you guys to know, uh, I will start the video out letting you know that I will take requests. If you're watching my videos to learn something or to see how I do it, um, I need need your help really to um, you know put this content up. I mean, there's only so many times I can do the same thing and keep posting it up. I want your feedback on what's new. What what do you want to see me do uh, in a video so that you can understand better? And if it's not necessarily for me to teach you something new, um, it could be you know equally as valuable as affirmation to what you already know. Uh, so if you've got a request for a video, please let me know. 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. As you guys know that, it's all over the internet. It's no secret. Uh, so use it. I can't help me, help you unless you use it. So uh, this video today is going to be about um, the difference in... I, I wouldn't say... Well, yeah, it's more about like the quality difference. Is there a quality difference... Uh, between a Korean microfiber towel uh, versus a Chinese made microfiber towel and I have had I mean I've been detailing I mean I've been I've had my own business like legit legitimately been employed by myself as a detailer uh, for 15 a little over 15 years now and I can tell you that you know, we all start out going with the cheaper stuff. You know, you can't always afford the super fancy stuff. And, you know, I can tell you that uh, throughout my years, I, you know, would listen to people, microfiber manufacturers, or I should say people who import microfibers, because there aren't any uh, that I know of, there aren't any manufacturers of microfiber here in the U.S. Um, I've been listening to people tell me what... Uh, you know what the deal was on microfibers for years and um, you know as you progress in your career or whatever you want to try new different things to try to step up your game well what I'm trying to do with my videos is to show you that most of what's out there is just an overhyped uh, people jumping on the bandwagon gotta have the latest and greatest because it's the latest and greatest and it may not be the latest and greatest. It may be something else within a line with a new label on it. Maybe a new color. You know, a lot of these companies will try to trick you with their marketing. And, um, you know, I, you know, one of the, the marketing, uh, I think, biggest pieces of bullshit, in my opinion, is it, whether a Korean towel is higher quality than a Chinese towel. Uh, and I can tell you, and I'll just skip to letting you know, that I've got Korean towels all day long. I've got, I mean, I used to sell these Korean waffle weave towels because I thought they were the best of the best. And I'm like, this got, like there's got to be something I'm not seeing or realizing about these Chinese towels that I used to, used to use. I mean, I've got a stack of Korean towels. I got a stack of Chinese towels, and I can tell you something right now. I have dedicated a lot of effort in the past year to uh, finding out are Korean towels better? Um, do they hold up better? Do they retain their softness better uh, than Chinese towels? I have been washing them the same way, different ways, different soaps, different detergents just doing tests over time and let me tell you something my Chinese towels and some of them I've had for five or six years I mean this towel I, I remember I bought this towel at Walmart uh, maybe seven years ago uh, it's an old towel it's very soft very fluffy um, you know and then we've got this microfiber towel um i'm gonna i'm gonna not name names of where they came from uh because i'm not trying to necessarily hurt anybody i'm just trying to give you some truth 
in detailing because it's, it's hard to come by these days. Everybody wants to bullshit you and give you their own marketing spin or angle so that you'll spend money with them and so um, you don't ever really know what's right and what's true. And I can assure you, if you ask me a question, I'm going to give you a straight up real answer when it involves detailing um, and you know if, if I can help you with something I am going to let you know I am not going to BS you I'm not going to lead you in the wrong direction uh, if if my products and my microfiber towels and my um, my help and my you know if my service if, if, if what I can provide is not right for you I'm going to let you know um, but I can tell you that Every single time I spend more money on a ultra pluff thick fluffy towel or a, you know an extra 100 GSM uh, you know more absorbent towel or or a hybrid like this uh, I'm I'm disappointed every time compared to my Chinese towels that are just the workhorse of microfiber I mean, yes, they cost less money, but in my opinion, and it's really a fact with, with my experience, um, I have found that the Chinese towels are every bit as good as the Korean towels. A lot of, you know, the longevity of a towel has to do with how you take care of it. Um, these days, I'm using my Infinite Purpose Cleaner uh, at a rate of about four ounces of IPC to a large load of towels to wash my towels. But you know, for a long time, maybe you guys have, have, have heard me say it before, I would use all free and clear, which is also another good option. I do find that my towels are uh, softer and cleaner with my IPC. Now, um, all free and clear, it has no fragrance, no dye in it. Um, you don't want the fragrances and the dyes in there because you don't want the potential for streaks uh, from your microfibers. You want you don't want anything that's left behind. The fragrance gets left behind. The dye gets left behind. Uh, you you just don't want uh, any potential for streaking. That's why you would use a, a fragrant and dyeless uh, detergent. So uh, if you're going to use Infinite Purpose Cleaner, uh, I would appreciate that. If not, all free and clear works well. Or I would imagine that any. Uh, laundry detergent that has no fragrance and no dye would work very well. Um, I got in very early on the all free and clear. It's inexpensive and it really works well. So um, I, I do find, and, and if I didn't find it, I wouldn't use my Infinite Purpose Cleaner uh, to, to wash my microfibers. I would use all free and clear if I felt like it was better. I do not feel like it's better. I feel like I get a better clean and fluffier towels with my um, infinite purpose cleaner. However, my point is I have had this Chinese, I think this is like a 24 by 36 uh, waffle weave drying towel. I have had this same towel for eight years. Eight years. It's very soft. I have had this towel for probably three years it's very soft now let me tell you this is a Chinese towel this is a Korean towel I would use either one of these I would absolutely without question use this on a brand new Ferrari that I had just corrected um, to, to dry water off the vehicle I, w I would not specifically go into my bag of towels and pull out a Korean towel because that was going to work better. Uh, that's just not the case. Um, I feel like Chinese towels, because it's from China, people are, you know, they're, they're turned away by it. Uh, but I can tell you that there's some really quality stuff that comes out of China, just like uh, there's quality stuff that comes out of Korea. And my point is, there's not a problem until there's an issue. And what I mean by that is if I'm not if you're not having an issue with your Chinese towels, if if they're not falling apart, if they're not you know, if you if they're not absorbing water like they're supposed to, if they're leaving scratches, 
Uh, if they're leaving lint behind, which is what I find with a lot of these fancy frickin' towels, I don't buy those anymore. All I use is my, well, I don't even have any out here. All I use are the towels that I sell on the website. In fact, if I don't use it, I don't sell it. Period. I mean, that's, that's where we're at with the website. Um, it, you know, I, I only sell things that I believe in enough to use them. I'm not going to sell you something that I don't use myself. You know, a lot of companies will sell you anything and everything they can do or sell you to get money out of you. That's not, that's not how I roll. If I don't use it myself, I'm not going to try to sell it to you, period. And I'll, you know, all I use is my very inexpensive Chinese, uh, very great quality 16 by 16 uh, green general purpose towels. I have a black towel that's very similar to the green one. Uh, it's also a Chinese towel and I just brought in those 16 by 24 uh, Waffle Weave Garadine Wash Method towels. Uh, those are Chinese towels. They're amazing towels. They work really, really, really well. And you know, again, I wouldn't bring it in if they didn't work well. I test and test and test and test everything before I offer it up to sale uh, for sale to you. Uh, so my point is, you're wasting your money and your time dealing with all this high-priced microfiber towel bullshit, period. Now, do they work? Yes. I can tell you that in my experience, um, especially with these towels, um, I get lint on everything. It just leaves behind these fibers on everything I use them on. And I just don't, I don't feel like they're worth the extra money. I don't, I don't have a problem with my Chinese towels, uh, especially enough of a problem to have to spend more money on towels. There's no reason to do that. Uh, whether you're an enthusiast who doesn't need a lot of towels or you're a professional who does need a lot of really good towels, I would say that find you some decent quality Chinese towels, stick with that. You don't need ultra plush, uh, you don't need super thick towels. Um, you don't need that. You need to keep your towels clean. You need to dry them with very low heat, tumble dry, um, and you need to keep them out of uh, the elements where particulates can fly around and, and land on them. So keeping them clean, keeping them decontaminated with uh, debris, uh, and you know, make sure you tumble dry on low heat and you'll have fluffy, nice towels for years and years and years. Uh, so that's kind of how I feel. I don't believe in the Korean towel hype. I am pro Chinese towel because they are more cost effective uh, and they work just the same. So there's not a problem unless there's an issue. And for me, I have no issue with Chinese towels whatsoever. Uh, I get great great results with them uh, and they work well for me uh, but if you feel like you just need to spend spend money on fancy towels do that it's your money you 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 made the money go spend it do whatever you got to do but um, you know again I'm not a fan of Korean towels not because they're not good but because they're not any better than what I can get from a Chinese manufacturer at a lesser price so that's me being real, and that is the truth in detailing about microfiber towels. If you got any questions, 813-846-4406. Give me a shout. I can't help you if you don't use the phone number. So uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys who take the time to watch these videos. You know, I'm doing this for you. I'm trying to help however I can. Reach out if you need me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.